universe, remember that the sharpness, if the, if the, you will see two things in the, uh, I presume you can get this view now, and that's why I am give, uh, going to inform you, give you some information that the uh, If the liver is normal, remember two things. The, if the liver's ecogenicity is normal, its uh, ecotexture is normal, and outer surface is not fine enough, its vessel node the vessel margin. This is hepatic vein, it is, has very sharp vessel margin. Note the portal vein, it has ecogenic pores. Note how much ecogenic it is. It's important to remember the level of ecogenicity or brightness it's containing. What will happen in disease processes is that the outer margin of the vessels will be blurred. Hepatic veins margins will be blurred. And if the ecogenicity is decreased, they may become more sharp. Whereas in case of hepatic veins, if the ecogenicity of the liver goes down, this brightness, <coughs> excuse me, this brightness will be very prominent. This from uh, the eco brightness will be much more than you are seeing in this segment. Whereas in fatty liver, as fatty the liver will be, this eco brightness will diminish in fatty liver. And uh, in coarse ecogenic livers, uh, in cirrhotic livers, you will see that the outer margins of the vessels will be blurred. They will not be sharp. So from these small points, we find the, we get the pathology. And just in, lastly, in this section of the study of the normal liver, I will request you to read the outer surface of the liver, remember it, keep it in your mind, store it. Then the ecogenicity of the liver, then the eco uh, texture of the liver, the uniformity of the brightness, same, the vessels with ecogenic border, the vessel without ecogenic borders, without ecogenic border, with ecogenic border, the diaphragm, and the uh, rest, what I have informed you. If you can do, if you can practice this, again and again and again on the normal patient it will take some time but I, but I assure you you will not get this much of a detail on the net or even in training centers over here to not give you this much of the detail that I am providing you now free of cost without any gains and uh, fame whatsoever just I am giving you what I have learned in uh, six, 18 years of my leopard-based practice because I do understand that this is ultrasound is going to be the future stethoscope uh, for the doctors and they should know at least the normal so that they should be able to depict the uh, anomaly in emergency uh, situations. So. And try this much that I have uh, informed you and uh, do give the feedback as I don't see much feedback and uh, good luck to you thank you very much